What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Atletico Madrid career mode here on FIFA 18. We start off by hiring a scout to go in Spain to try to look for the next best Spanish player. And that is the first thing you'll see in this episode. Uh, next you see Everton coming for Luciano Vieto. They offered 24.5 million euros, but I feel like we can get a little bit more for the young Argentinian striker. So I go to my assistant manager to try to get the job done. I asked to start the bid or the offer at 32.5 and but not to sell the player less than I think I put 25 million euros 25 yeah 25 million euros and we'll wait to see what they say and Everton come back and offer 32.5 so they up the bid and I go ahead and accept it because I'm not going to be using Luciano Vieto he is a fifth He's a fifth choice striker here at Atletico Madrid and I think he should, he'll should he be better off at another club. And I decide to go for a new striker, a new striker to fill the reserves and the bench just in case one of the main starters get injured and I'll have a backup striker to use. And I go for Real Madrid's Borja Mayoral, once again going to the assistant manager to try to get the job done, try to, uh, try to, or buy... Uh, Borja Mayoral off of Real Madrid so we'll see after this match against Las Palmas to see if we can get Borja Mayoral here to Atletico Madrid and uh, coming off a loss on the first game of the season 1-0 uh, trying to bounce back with a victory here at Las Palmas I changed up the squad a bit put Angel Correa ahead of Kevin Gamero and Nico Gaetan ahead of Gabi and the first chance did come to us as Saul here outside the box shoots but sadly hits the crossbar and Las Palmas clear and just two minutes later Anton Griezmann gets onto the ball here he passes it to Yana Carrasco who sprints and he shoots but sadly hits the ball over the crossbar and out for a goal kick so Yana Carrasco has been missing a couple chances the last two games Las Palmas got their first chance with Alan Halilovic with a great chance after some bad defending but he hits the ball over the bar and out for a goal kick. So some good chances being wasted here by both teams. And Las Palmas had a chance to take the lead at halftime. Or right before halftime. But Jan Oblak made a good save. And then when once again Griezmann here in the 47th minute with a good chance. But the goalkeeper denies the French striker. And in the 66th minute a beautiful ball from Nico Gaetan to Kevin Gamero. Kevin Gamero cuts inside. He waits for the run of Juan Mata. Juan Mata takes the ball. He shoots. And Juan Mata makes it 1-0 to Atletico Madrid. 68 minutes. And he scores his first goal for Atletico Madrid in just his second game. And I was really pleased with Juan Mata. The whole play was really nice to give us the lead. And in the 90th minute, we put the cherry on the icing on the cake. Griezmann with a nice turn of pace here. And a beautiful finish. To make it 2-0 to us. And here we see that beautiful Griezmann celebration. Celebrating with Nico Gaetan. And that was a really nice goal. And a nice performance in the second half. Uh, and a good win after losing our first game 1-0. So uh, winning the second game of the season. I'm very pleased with that. And we come back to some more good news. Is, uh, Borja Mayoral is going to potentially maybe come to Atletico Madrid. We agreed 10 million euros with Real Madrid and we're just going to offer him a contract. He's going to be a prospect squad role, have a contract for four years and have a release clause of 18 million euros. We offer him 80,000 per week and we'll wait to see what the, uh, the uh, his um, agent has to say and he offered or they got we got the offer accepted and Borja Mayoral is going to come to Atletico Madrid for 10 million euros. We get him on the cheap which is really good and another player we go here is Emery Chan from Liverpool, a great young player, 23 years old, I think rated like 80, I think he's 80 rated and has potential to get even higher than that. So we offer 16.25 million euros, Liverpool we're not going to go less than 27.2 million and I go ahead and accept that because I'm not trying to fight here, I'm just trying to get players that I want into the team as fast as possible and that is what I do. We offer him an important squad role. A contract of four years and a release clause of 52.1 million euros and we offer him a contract of a hundred thousand per week hoping he would accept that because I'm not trying to pay uh, over a hundred thousand per week and as you'll see here they're happy we're happy Emery Chan is joining Liverpool for 27.2 million euros I think it was and that is a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but it, it'll do for the future. He'll be worth so much more than that. And you'll see here, a release clause was paid for Jan Oblak from PSG. And an agreement email saying Jan Oblak will be joining PSG for 120 million euros. And just after that, a release clause was paid for Koke 
from Manchester United and in the next email here in the next clip you'll see it was agreed as well and Koke is going to be sold as well so that's like freaking unbelievable in my opinion our, our two of the best two of our starting players two of our best players one of our best players are going to be sold for a combined 180 million euros so our starting midfielder and our best goalkeeper arguably the best goalkeeper in the world is going to be sold because of the release clause so uh in january they will be leaving to their respective new clubs and we will have to find some new players but for the meantime we will have them until january and try to use them as best as possible and uh there's nothing we could do about it if they played for the they paid for the release clause just hope for the players to decline the contracts given by the team they, the release clause was paid for but sadly coke accepted manu and Oblak accepted PSG, so we're in trouble for January. We're going to have to look for some new players. But in this third, second game of the episode, we are going to be facing Valencia. And 30 minutes and Valencia take the lead off a lucky build-up to the goal. But that was a beautiful header to beat Jan Oblak off the crossbar. It doesn't get any better than that. But uh, the way the ball came to this player was off my defender, actually. You'll see here, he tries to clear it. It comes to the player. And it's a beautiful header. And sadly, we go down 1-0 30 minutes in. And we're looking for the equalizer here. Emery Chan passes it to Angel Correa. Angel Correa to Amata to Fernando Torres. And Fernando Torres sadly gets the shot saved by the Valencia goalkeeper. And 65 minutes in, we're looking for the equalizer. The young Ezekiel Barco comes here for Borja Mayoral. Making his debut, but sadly shoots the ball wide. And now for a goal kick in the 83rd minute. Valencia would seal the deal through Jalic. As he beats Jan Oblak at his near post, sadly. I felt like Oblak could have saved that, but <clears throat> Valencia was the better team out of the two this whole match. And uh, they scored the second goal, 84 minutes in. And a cheeky pass by Zaha, you'll see here. Oh, she's taking the piss. Playing playing, <laughs> playing around this, and uh, they scored the second goal, courtesy of Bialic. And the game did end 2 nothing. I'm just going to end it from here because I got a little bit upset at the end of the whistle and I just kept pressing X but uh, sadly we lose in this second game of the episode and the third game of the season but hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode if you did please do leave a like comment and subscribe and I shall see you in another episode of the Atletico Madrid career mode very soon